Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about format and animation painters in PowerPoint. And if this is a tool that you don't use currently and you work in PowerPoint a lot, then this is going to be a great feature for you to start utilizing. Let's start out with a tabla rasa and I'm going to add some elements to this blank slide. First I'm going to put a rectangle and then I'll put another rectangle. Just make a copy of that. This rectangle, we're going to do some features. I'm going to put an outline, maybe add some weight to that, and put in a drop shadow, just as an example. So the rectangle on the right is the default format, and I've added some styling to this rectangle. What I'm gonna do is select this formatted rectangle and go to the Home tab, and I'm gonna click on Format Painter in the clipboard. And when I click on that, and then click on an object, it matches the formatting. I'll go ahead and undo that, and I'm going to shrink this down a little bit and create some more shapes. I'm going to go to Shape Format, Edit Shape, and I'm just going to change this shape to maybe a circle, and this shape, I'll change it to a Pac-Man, and then this final shape, I will change to a star. So these are all unformatted, and I want to give them the same formatting as the original rectangle. I'm going to hop over to the Home tab, and this time, instead of clicking the Format Painter, I'm going to double-click the Format Painter. And what this does is it locks on that Format Painter attribute, and I can go ahead and click on various shapes, and it formats all of the shapes accordingly. Now let's try something new. I'm going to add a blank slide, and this time I'm going to insert some stock pictures. I'll just take these first two and insert them onto the slide. Let me shape these a little bit and I'm going to place them around. Now let's add some formatting to one picture and then apply it to the other picture. Let's put something really fun like a blue border. Let's get some weight to that and let's sketch it out a bit. What else can we do? Dashes, some sketch dashes. Maybe I'll put some glow around it as well. And finally, maybe a reflection. All right, so that's a well-formatted picture right there. I'm gonna click on the picture, go to Format Painter, and click on the other picture, and bam, it matches the formatting. Let's try this one more time. I'm going to adjust the picture a bit. That's kind of a fun effect, adjusting the picture with that funny border. And I am going to add a bunch of different elements. Let me add couple of pictures, maybe a cutout person, and some icons, and a sticker. So I have seven items that I'm going to put on the screen. I'm going to shrink these down just a little bit, and maybe spread them apart. All right, so we have several elements on the screen. I'm going to double click on the Format Painter, and I'm just going to click through these different elements. And you can see it works better for some than for others. I think with the icons especially, probably the border feature was not fantastic, nor for the person or the kitty. But let's go back to Format Painter. Let's get something a little simpler, maybe a drop shadow. And I'm going to double click on Format Painter again, and let's see what that does. It's a little bit more classy. I think that's a little bit more doable. So that's how you can utilize the Format Painter to format one object and then standardize it across various assets on the slide as well as various slides. Now let's look at one more thing. I'm going to get another blank slide and I'm going to insert some stock. Oh, let's look at the stickers. How about if I get this cat with a tie because I'm trying to keep this business professional. All right, so there's two cats with ties, and I'm going to add some animations to one of them. I'm going to have him fly in for one, and then I'll add an animation to maybe teeter, and then an animation to pulse. Go to the animation pane, and these I'm going to set to advance after previous. So here I can see my animations. It flies in, it teeters, and then it, I don't know what that last thing is that it does. But now I have, let's see, say I have several elements on the screen and I all want them to do exactly the same thing. 
Now one of these has animation applied to it and the other two do not. So again, that first one has an animation. Let's copy that animation to the other ones. On the animation ribbon, I have an animation painter. So if I double click on that, then I can paint all of the elements on the screen. And now when I preview that, I can see the animations apply on click. Just for fun, let's change that one more. Have that start with previous. All right, let's preview it full screen from this point. Here's my one animated element, my second and my third animated elements. So the formatting and animation painters are great if you do a lot of work in PowerPoint and you're doing a lot of formatting and a lot of animated elements on the slides and you can quickly copy those and replicate them with other components of the slide.